Well, greetings, lupus warriors all around the world, and welcome to another video brought to you by the Loris Lupus and Support channel. Today is a much anticipated video. I've been trying to get this video done, and I just haven't had the time, or something always came up. Something just didn't work out, but today I have a little bit of extra time before I check into my doctor's appointment for my lupus. Um... And I decided to grab my phone and just press record. And so I'm going to be free flowing with this video on today. Okay. Uh, I love to talk and I love to explain things. So I shouldn't run out of things to say. I'll probably run out of time before I run out of things to say. But I don't plan to hold you very long. But anyway, uh, first of all, before I jump into my message, I want to say... Uh, greetings to all of my subscribers, whether you're old, you've been with me for a while, or whether you're a new subscriber, welcome. I appreciate you. Thank you for supporting the channel. Um, also, in the future, I'm going to start, you know, recognizing those who leave comments uh, at the bottom of the videos, okay? It's public information anyway, so if I say your name and mention you in a video, the public is going to see your comment anyway. All comments on YouTube are public. And so I'm going to start mentioning you because I think it helps to grow the community, help us to feel closer, interactive, and also it recognizes those who, um, you know, interact with my, my channel on a regular basis, okay? So if you hear me mention your name in future videos, it's because I want to. I want to acknowledge you, and I think that's important. Another thing, if you have not subscribed, please take a moment, hit that subscribe button, hit the like button if you enjoy the content. Um, leave a comment because I enjoy reading your comments all of, from all of you and share this video. So on today, what are we going to be discussing? I want to tell you, um, you know, just give you a little follow up as far as um me attending the 2023 Lupus Advocacy Summit in Washington, D.C. last week. My friend, it was amazing. If you ever get a chance to attend a Lupus Advocacy Summit, whether in person or virtual, I've attended virtual before, but being in person was amazing. The energy was high. Uh, over 300 and something lupus advocates you know, we all got together, we shared our stories, we asked questions, we learned things that we didn't, you know, um, we learned additional information regarding lupus. We learned how important it was to advocate for lupus individually or collectively, to advocate, you know, uh, for lupus with your healthcare workers, with um, your your Congress members, you know, those who are in charge. We got a chance to hear from, you know, keynote speakers who've been in the fight with us uh, against lupus for over 30 something years. We got a chance to hear from doctors. We got a chance to hear from other lupus advocates. We got a chance to hear from the directors of the Lupus Foundation of America, you know, those who work behind the scenes to put this together. We got a chance to hear from leading uh, scientists, leading rheumatologists, you know, um, and we just shared our stories. And it's so important to not allow your voice to be silenced you know, to pump up the volume, to be heard, to advocate, not only for yourself, not only for, you know, lupus advocates of today, but whenever you advocate for lupus, you're advocating for future generations. The work that we did last week is not only going to uh, impact us, our families, uh, those that attended, those who've been diagnosed with lupus right now, but it's going to impact for future generations to come. You know, it's going to continue to have an impact. And it was so nice to see over 100 plus young people who've been either diagnosed with lupus or they were there to support, um, you know, a family member who had lupus, to see them wanting to step out and take you know, to take that initiative to advocate for lupus. And so when we're advocating, you know, um, we're advocating to against this fight together 
against lupus. Okay. And so while we were there, we felt supported. We heard each other's stories. It was so nice to meet, you know, lupus advocates. Their representation was from over 37 different states. It was not only females there, but there were male uh, lupus advocates there. There were family members there supporting someone with lupus. It was just, it was just amazing. And again, you know, we learned about the importance of advocacy. You know, um, some of the, the key points that I take away from the conference that I didn't realize, especially when it comes to the, the research and the development and the approval of new medications to treat lupus. I didn't know normally when I take my medications, you know, for, for instance, I'm on Plaquenil. And when you, when you first get prescribed Plaquenil, you know, you read the contraindications, you read how to take it, you read side effects, but we don't know the backstory of Plaquenil. We don't know the backstory of a lot of the lupus medications that we take, whether you're on Plaquenil, whether you're on Celsept, whether you're on Mexotrexate, you know, whatever medication that you're taking right now to treat your symptoms of lupus, there is a backstory to that. There's a lot of people, scientists, researchers, doctors, you know, who take you work tirelessly every day and take out their time to research and create these medications, to research their clinical trials. There are people who participate in these clinical trials before this medication ever gets approved. And one thing that I learned regarding medications is that all medications, they don't treat all of the symptoms of lupus. Certain medications target specific areas for your lupus. For example, Plaquenil. Plaquenil targets and protects every system except for the kidneys. Cellcept, it targets the kidneys for those, you know, who have lupus and they also have lupus nephritis. Cellcept only takes care of the lupus nephritis. And so I learned that, that the medications that we take, there's a backstory to it. And there's not one medication that takes care of all of our lupus symptoms. Because remember, lupus is a disease, an autoimmune disease, a very mysterious and debilitating autoimmune disease that has a thousand faces and a thousand symptoms, okay? And so, you know, we're hoping one day to eradicate lupus from the face of the earth. We're hoping one day to find a cure. You know, that's what we're working on. That's why we come together. That's why we fight this lupus fight together, to one day find a cure, to also ensure safe and effective treatments for lupus. And so, you know, uh, it's just so important to understand the back history to the medication, to know, you know, to get to know the people that are working so hard to, you know, to stay in the fight with us, to help us fight against this disease called lupus. And there's a lot of people that are there for us with, you know, 30 years of experience, um, 20 years of experience. During this conference, there was a lady there that she's had lupus for over 50 years, my friends. And she wants to dedicate the rest of her life advocating for lupus, participating in clinical trials to find a cure for lupus. And so right now we know there is no cure for lupus. There's only medications to treat the symptoms of lupus. And right now there's only 30, I mean, there's only three medications that's been approved to treat lupus, to treat the symptoms of lupus. And so get this, the diagnosis of lupus is going up. There's so many millions of people in the U.S. alone that suffer with lupus but even though the diagnosis is going up, we lag behind in research and funding. You know, uh, we lag behind in that area as opposed to other diseases that, you know, funding is just right up there. Research is, is you know, uh, a top priority. We lag behind in research and funding for treatments of lupus. Another thing that we learned during this uh, lupus summit you know, not only about advocacy, 
research clinical trials. We learned about new medications, you know, that was like the shh moment um, that's on the horizon for the treatment of lupus. Uh, for example, I'm just going to give you this little tidbit, the CAR T uh, therapy that's out there, C-A-R-R capital T. And I got a little inside joke with one of my family members about that, but if they're listening, they know what I mean. But the CAR T therapy is something that's on the horizon for the treatment of lupus. And it's where, you know, the patient's, uh, you know, blood work withdraws, you know, the T cells, which is part of our immunity that, you know, fights and help keep our immune system strong. And it's genetically modified in the lab. And then it's placed back into the patient in order to fight against defective B cells. And so we know B cells are also a part of our immune system. So these T cells are kind of hyped up they're placed back, you know, CAR T therapy is a cell therapy. The T cells are kind of hyped up and then they're placed back into the patient to fight against defective B cells. So shh, that's something that's on the horizon. Um, what else did I learn? I just took away, you know, um, from this, this summit that, um, you know, uh, that we're in this fight together um, that the lupus advocacy community is growing, the importance of advocacy, again, the importance of research, um, clinical trials in order to develop safe and effective treatments, new treatments that are on the horizon. And, you know, just, it's so important for us to continue to support one another, um, and to allow our voices to be heard. So if you ever get a chance to attend a lupus summit, you know, please take the opportunity and please do not allow anyone to silence your voice. You know, if you have questions, get those questions answered. If you're unclear about something, you know, speak up and speak out, allow your voice to be heard. And so, um, that's all I have. That's what I, I took from the Lupus Summit. I hope I didn't leave anything out. If I did, I'll come to you on the next video. Um, stay safe. Take care. Remember, there's life after lupus, and I'll talk to you all soon 